Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Pick You. I'm with columnist Ron Higgins, uh, another LSU season in the books, and this one didn't end so well. 31-28 uh, to 28 loss to Notre Dame on the final play of the game. A field goal kicker who missed two late field goals to uh, lead to Notre Dame losses this year, uh, nailed the Tigers. And uh, today was uh, more about uh, John Chavis than it was about this game. Uh, the word got out this morning that uh, – um, he was uh, at Texas A&M was very serious and, and could possibly offer him a contract uh, at, uh, with a big raise, and that LSU was not, not going to match it. And uh, it all kind of dribbled out after the game, and, and Les Miles wasn't very clear. Uh, but he talked about John Chavis in the past tense. So you know, what else can we think? Yeah, I think he's. I think he could be history. And uh, you know, you in this business, you move on and find the next guy. Uh, as uh, Jeremiah Rasco said, you know. Uh, co coaches come and they go, and it's uh, players stick together and move on. I think it's it's how this business is. If he's gone, they'll find somebody else pretty good. Uh, this is this is a premier job, and they're going to be paid well paid. They'll have no shortage of candidates if he's moved on. Uh, the one maddening thing about LSU's defense is that John Chavis's defense is that they have a tendency to uh, you know not close out on third downs, and especially on on t drives to end games. We saw that this year against Alabama in overtime. We saw it tonight with scrambling quarterbacks. And when you go into the, the, the third down problems they had tonight, it's one of the things that, that uh, traditionally with him had been a problem. But he's he, overall being there with the top defense in the SEC, and you can't complain about that. No, uh, but uh, he, it's still, uh, it's, I think it's shocking to LSU fans. They never thought they would lose him. And the way they played tonight, there was a lot of talk about whether or not it affected the players. I really don't think it did and, and because, uh, it, because none of this came out. They were already locked in on the game. and so. Uh, uh, but still, uh, Chavis is not talking after the game. Les was very uh, uh, opaque, I guess you could say, um, but, but a bad performance by the defense. And it really ruined a great performance by Leonard Fournette. And, and the offense really played well enough to win. They put 28 points up and probably should have had 35 with the, uh, with the call at the goal line. But Leonard Fournette, uh, a springboard game for, the, for a Heisman campaign next year? I mean, you just roll that tape out there. He was unbelievable. Set New York City Bowl records for longest kickoff return, 100 yards. Last time LSU had 100 yarders was 1981 with Eric Martin. Leonard Fournette wasn't even on the radar at that point. I think he was even born. <laughs> uh, that's how long ago you had one. Then he had the, the 89 yard touchdown run, which was tremendous. And in both cases, he was looking at the video board while he was running to gauge the people behind him, see what, what, how he could cut, whether they catch him or not. Uh, it was an unbelievable performance by Leonard Fournette, and, and it kind of really set the table for how good he can be next year. Uh, the puzzling thing that to me, and I know to you also, was that Leonard Fournette carried the ball just 11 times in this game. In fact, after his 89-yard touchdown run in the third quarter, with about six minutes left, he carried the ball just three more times. Uh, and even Anthony Jennings kind of wondered about that, why he didn't get the ball more in, in the final quarter. So, I mean, that was a problem there. But he was – it it was uh, – this is what I think LSU fans expected when they signed him. And, of course, it takes a whole year to get acclimated. He had some good games this year, but nothing like this. Okay, well that wraps up another season for LSU. Eight and five, uh, really not what they expected. A, a good crop of players coming back next year. Lots of uh, freshmen and sophomores on this year's team that played. So LSU could be uh, in for uh, LSU fans could be in for a good uh, good season. Stay with us on NOLA.com. We'll stay with the LSU football team as it develops. For Ron Higgins, uh, I'm Jim Klein Peter, and we'll see you on NOLA.com.